five reasons you should be more consistent with God. Becoming more consistent with God will change your life. Every relationship thrives on consistency. God doesn't like lukewarm believers. He loves believers who have signed up to be with him forever. Even our Lord Jesus Christ assured us of this. And lo, I am with you to the end of the age. God is consistent with us. And that's why he said, I am the Lord. I change not. No matter what, nothing can separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Today I want to give you five reasons why you should be consistent with God. Number one, God's soul delights in the person who doesn't draw back. You will hear God saying, return to your first love. Now the just shall live by faith. But if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. God's pleasure is in the people who fix their eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of their faith. If you want to really excel, you have to be consistent in the study of the word of God and also consistent in prayer. Jacob said of his son Reuben, Reuben, you are my firstborn my might and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power, unstable as water, you will not excel. Genesis 49 verse 3 to 4. God is ready to make you mighty and strengthen you. You are God's excellency of power, but until you become consistent with God, you will not become all that he wants you to be. Don't be someone who is a believer today and an unbeliever tomorrow. Don't be hot today and be cold tomorrow. Unstable as water, no one can excel. I pray you will be consistent with God in Jesus' name. One of the greatest instability is doubt and unbelief. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Number two. God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hebrews 11 verse 6 Consistency in faith in God pleases him, and he rewards those who consistently seek him. When you seek God, you shall find Him when you seek Him with your whole heart. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His face evermore. Let the pursuit of the Lord be your delight always. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Psalms 34 verse 10 The surest way to have all your needs met is to be consistent in seeking the Lord. Seek the Lord through worship, praise, word, and prayer. Number three, being consistent with God makes you to enjoy consistent grace, love, and communion of God. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Being consistent with God will always keep you in the love of God. The more you commune with God, the more you become one with Him. You will have the same mind of Christ, for it is written, But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with Him. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 17 When you become consistent with God, you get to know Him more. You experience God's power when you commune with Him. Number four, be consistent with God will make you always abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You need to dwell in the secret place of the Most High God to be under His ways. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, 
nor of the pestilence that works in darkness, nor of the destruction that lay waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but they shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Number 5. God opens doors for you when you are consistent with him. He said of the church in Philadelphia, I know your work, see, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. God is seeing your consistency, and he has set before you an open door that no man can shut. You kept the Lord's word, and has not denied his name. Because you have kept my commandment to persevere, I will also keep you from the hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole world, to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, that no one may take your crown. No matter what, nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. God's soul delights in the person who doesn't draw back. You will hear God saying, Return to your first love. Now the just shall live by faith, but if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. God's pleasure is in the people who fix their eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of their faith. I pray you will be consistent with God in Jesus' name. One of the greatest instability is doubt and unbelief. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hebrews 11 verse 6 Consistency in faith in God pleases him, and he rewards those who consistently seek him. When you seek God, you shall find him when you seek him with your whole heart. May the blessings of consistency come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. May God strengthen you and gives you the grace to abide in his presence forever. In Jesus' name, amen.